Well, it's interesting times indeed for postal services all over the world, a lot of them in crisis, but literally the way has been led by players like Deutsche Post, which I bought out, as many people know, DHL, which is a global logistics parcel and mail service that has been doing very well all over the world. Now, what's the situation right here in Kenya? Of course, uh, postal services post having gone that way some time back, but presently having made a comeback in a big way with a service that is now termed M Poster, I think, M Post. This is literally a service that enables you combine the best of both worlds, the traditional and the modern. And here in studio to talk to us, the man behind that product in the flesh, his name is Dennis Nene, and is the country manager for M Post. Karibu sana, sir. Thank you, Wano Akaba, for hosting yes. me. So, uh, first, a lot of people uh, remember the days of uh, writing letters of old where you had, uh, you could literally uh, spend days penning a letter, then send it, it takes some time and comes out on the other end in a post office box to a loved one or that sort of thing. Yeah. Those days now seem long gone, uh, replaced by email, uh, text messaging and that sort of thing. Uh, but you're saying we can combine the best of both worlds, that is uh, mobile telephony and uh, postage. Uh, thank you for, again, Bona Wakaba, for having me. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to pass sincere gratitude to the Ministry of ICT yes. and Poster Kenya for giving the youth mm -hmm. of this country an opportunity to contribute to their national building. Mm -hmm. Now, you talked of uh, mails, writing letters and text days to pen it down, right? Mm -hmm. But that is the misconception that we as Kenyans have. When you hear the word poster, mm -hmm. it only directs you towards mails. Yes. But poster goes beyond mails. Uh -huh. And why I would say that Wanawakaba is the reason that uh, you may have some banks, I do know of two banks in Kenya, mm -hmm. that when you do apply for an account, they send you your ATM cards via poster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know yeah. that, for instance, the government, when you make a job application to any uh, parastatal or uh, government institution, they will never call you, they'll never send you an email. Their response will have to come through poster. So mm -hmm. how many opportunities have been lost because of our negligence, thinking that poster is all about letters? Mm -hmm. Right? Their applications, uh, essentially what you're saying is that um, the use of a, a post office box uh, went beyond just uh, receiving or writing letters, sending oh, yes. letters. Yes. And there, were, there was a gamut of other things that uh, needed to be done with this thing. So how then um, does this translate into the modern economy, especially knowing that a lot of the youth don't have this thing? So of course they might be losing the opportunities, as you say. What then is a modern iteration of this thing? Uh, so by the word itself, M-Post, it mm -hmm. simply stands for mobile post, mm -hmm. uh, which we translate into our own uh, uh, Postum Kononi. Yes. So the essence of this is that we have uh, we can acknowledge that the youth have embraced technology. Yes. And now the youth nowadays are technology savvy, right? Mm -hmm. So we also go back to the statistics. We see that uh, in the whole of Kenya, mm -hmm. Poster has a total of 465,000 physical boxes, right? But when you look at the population of Kenya in totality, by the last census, we were uh, standing at 49 million Kenyans, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can see the dismatch between uh, those who have postal uh, boxes and there those... There is no way everybody can get there a physical no. one. So we see that only 1% uh, out of Kenya can access, can have access to physical boxes. Mm -hmm. But we want to bring the opportunity to the youth. So what we've done is, by the word mobile post, we simply convert your mobile phone number into a postal address, mm -hmm. such that you, don't, you, don't, you now don't have to have a conventional physical physical box for you to enjoy the government services and amongst other things which I'll mention on, uh, along the show, mm -hmm. but with the simplicity and convenience of having your mobile phone number, you can access all the postal uh, services. So how essentially does it work, this having your mobile phone number? Do I go and uh, fill in my phone number on the slot where they say PO box? No. Or what uh, happens? Unlike in the conventional way, Wanawakaba, we bring ease. We do understand that you like the convenience of doing things, right? So you don't have to go to Posta to do all this. All you simply have to do is go to your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. It can be an Android platform run by a phone. It can yes. be a, a feature phone. Mm -hmm. All you simply have to do is dial star 890. Why don't we do it uh, we, physically so it that uh, we uh, literally should be able to help uh, people get to see the system Indeed. at work. Indeed. Sometimes you know, it's easy to say, uh, but then it becomes a cumbersome. So you said uh, dial you star. Point, you dial star 890. So uh, star 8890. Zero. Zero. Star. Star. 990. Zero. Zero. Hush. Hush. And then dial it. Dial. And the good thing about that USSD code is that it works on either phone, be it a smartphone or a feature phone. 
Mm -hmm. So just give it time, so, a pop up will come up. Okay, so we just wait. Yep. And because the last time I did that, it just it not. just came up. Mm -hmm. right? Maybe we can try again yep. to star. It should be eight, eight nine zero. Eight nine. Ah, yes. So let's just see what happens. It says that it's running. There should be an internet thing. Here we are. Yes. Uh -huh. What does it say? Uh, it gives me a menu. Says, "Welcome to Mpost, your mobile post office." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have numerous options. Yes. Option one, you have the option of registering. Uh -huh. That is for those who wish to convert their mobile phone numbers into postal addresses, right? Yes. So for instance, your postal address becomes a 07, blah, 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 then yes. the postal code. Then option two, we have link to physical box, hmm. which is a value add to those with already existing Sorry, physical boxes. Sorry, that just boxes, went out, yes. Which is a value add to those with already existing physical boxes. I'll explain to that. Mm -hmm. Then we have pick and drop services, and the last option is all about MPOST. You get to learn all about MPOST. Yes. So you can select option one for this mm -hmm. instance. So we'll select option one. Yep. And then we'll say again, send. send. It says enter, enter your, your ID, ID number. number. Uh -huh. So that is, um, let me just get my I ID I number. I have to blink on that, I don't see how <laughs> old you are. <laughs> Not really. Uh -huh, so that is sent. Yeah. Enter your postal code. Your preferable postal code. Uh, so the usual one for most people is 0100. Zero one zero zero. Uh, zero one Zero, zero, one, zero, yes. zero, that is GPO. That is GPO, yes. But again, if at all you are not sure of your postal code, you can enter the default zero. Okay. And then you call us, then we can verify for you and we can input that for you or you can do it. Do you already you. have to have a box somewhere or what? No, uh, you don't have to have a box. So this is... What you're doing at the moment... Ah, it's your location. Your geographical your location. location has... So for instance, uh, where I come from, maybe assume that I, I find it convenient for me to mm. have GPO because of yes. where I do work So let, let's work with where we are. We are in uh, along Mombasa Road, nearest yes. would be South B. Assuming yes. that was 500508 or something like that, yes. that would be the number we key in. Yes. So in this case, we'll put in the GPO, which yes. is, I think, the easiest for everyone to remember. So we say the 00100 zero and then say send. Uh, please enter agent number or agent mobile number. If not available, enter zero. So we enter zero for this instance, but an agent number, again, we were running a promotion with uh, the Minister of ICT yes. who, uh, under what we termed the Pata Ajira. Mm -hmm. And under Pata Ajira, that was in the last year, December, mm -hmm. running from 15th December to 15th January, mm -hmm. we did create over 2,500 jobs through Pata Ajira. Yes. So the agent would have been a person who was vending A person's this. number, yes. For okay. instance, because I'm the one referring you to MPOST, if yes. you put my mobile phone number, yes. I get a commission. Ah, nice. <laughs> so okay. I think we can have my number there. Uh, that's the, uh, you uh, just key that in. I just key 07. Long phone number. <laughs> yes, so uh, es essentially, so we, we say, then we say again Sorry. send. So it says, thank you for registering on MPOST. You will get a pop-up to pay the 300 shillings to yep. complete your registration. Uh, yes, and there is the pop-up. There is the pop-up. Maybe can show the camera to see this. I uh, sorry about that. It says, do you? I'm not sure whether we can get that clearly. Uh, not really clear, but I mean, I will just read that out for you. It says, do you want to pay 300 to Postal Corporation of Kenya account AD? So I'll say yes. It says uh, enter M-Pesa PIN. So I will do that. Uh, it says sent and wait for a reply. We are now on the M-Pesa menu, so I yeah. expect that it will be prompting uh, me to complete that payment. Uh, your post, uh, your M-Post office address is PO Box, and then there's the my phone number, and... Um, one second. Yeah, so it says uh, my M post address is my phone number at uh, 00100. For any questions, then there's a number given for customer care. So essentially, what we've just done is create. Uh, let me take you back, boy. Yes. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, it says confirmed you have received 50 from Taz Technologies Limited M post. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, so once you pay, I get a commission because I've referred you. So that's how it ah. works. So basically, when I work, 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 what you've so done So you just is made 50 shillings into the bargain just by a referral. Yeah. 
So mm -hmm. I can refer three to five family members in a day and I have my commissions with me. Yes. So what basically that means is that you have now converted your mobile phone number into a postal address. Mm -hmm. So anytime you expect to get mail or you want to do maybe uh, uh, e-commerce, buy goods from Alibaba, Amazon or which, uh, whichever e-commerce site we may have outside Kenya, all you need is a postal address. Now you do own a postal address, that is your mobile phone number becomes your postal address and the postal code which is 001. Sorry, let's say that again. Because I now have my phone numbers, my address. Yes. Uh, how do I input that into the places where I need the number? Do I put, just put my phone number? Or is there a special thing that I can put? Or if it says, please input your PO box number. You just put your number as it is. For uh -huh. instance, if I want to address a letter to you, I'll say to Mr. Alex Wakaba, yes. PO box 07, yes. your telephone number, Plus two five dash, four from zero zero one yes. zero zero. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's indeed a very final question. Uh, the fact that this thing is now out there, but the youth don't seem to be taking this up in a very big way, either because of knowledge, we know they're out there, and of course the numbers have been great, uh, almost 40,000 signed up. What do we need to do to make them start to take uh, notice of this thing, especially knowing that a lot are actually struggling with, uh, without it? Uh, thank you for that. What I'll tell you is that the reason why the youth have not embraced this technology for, for, for sure is mm. that we, mm. we, we have not been going heavy on marketing. Mm -hmm. Why? We wanted to perfect the product. Remember, we are in Kenya and Uganda as per now. Yes. We are rolling out in Uganda anytime next month. Mm -hmm. So we did not want to offer to our own market a product that ah. could result into defaults along the way. Mm -hmm. So what we did is, even with these 35,000 clients that we do have registered, mm -hmm. we did not do any marketing. It was mm -hmm. just a word of mouth. Have you heard of this particular product? Mm -hmm. How can you do this. So we have not really rolled out into Kenya, mm -hmm. but now trust me, you, we are rolling out. And, and it is if, at all I may, if I may bring a, a practical example to you is that the youth are embracing e-commerce, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's not all about letters. The youth are embracing e-commerce. The other day I made a purchase of a power bank. Mm -hmm. Guess at how much Kenya shillings? Mm -hmm. At 100 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. It cost me only 200 Kenya shillings to import that power bank. Mm -hmm. And I paid a tariff of 150 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. So with a 500 Kenya shillings, if I can buy items from Alibaba and mm -hmm. eBay, mm -hmm. why wouldn't I want to go that way? Mm -hmm. Because it all in all, it's all about accessibility easier. and choices. Okay, indeed, uh, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. Uh, Dennis Nene, thank you very much. And thank you. Uh, we, of course, will be checking you uh, in on you in just a few weeks to be able to see what further uptake has been done. And, of course, we've seen the situation in Tanzania, dire need for this product. So, of course, uh, our correspondents will be happy to see you when you do land there. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for your time, sir. It, uh, it indeed has been an eye-opening afternoon and one that I think has been beneficial for me. Asante sana.